You can see both vertical lines and horizontal lines on the globe and map. These imaginary lines are drawn to locate a place on the earth easily. The axis is an imaginary line of the earth drawn from the top of the earth to the bottom through the center of the earth. The axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degree to the plane of the orbit. The earth rotates on the axis line. The axis has two end points, north pole at the top and south pole at the bottom. There is a circular line drawn horizontally at the center of the earth. It is called the equator. It divides the earth into two equal halves, the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Equator is also called the zero degree latitude. Horizontal lines run parallel to equator from east to west up to the North Pole and to the South Pole. These are called latitudes. There are total 180 parallels, 90 in each hemisphere. All parallels are located at an equal distance from one another. The length of the parallels keeps on decreasing as we move away from the equator towards the poles. The important lines of latitudes are Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degree north Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degrees south, Arctic Circle at 66.5 degrees north, Antarctic Circle at 66.5 degrees south, and the equator at 0 degree. Similar to latitudes, we have vertical semicircular lines running from the North Pole to the South Pole. These are known as longitudes or meridians. There are 360 meridians. The 180 degree east and 180 degree west longitudes are the same line. It is also known as the international date line. All longitudes are of the same length. The maximum distance between any two meridians is at the equator. Meridians cut the equator at right angles, that is at 90 degree. Meridians are semicircles. The distance between any two meridians decreases towards the poles. Do you know, the international date line is not a straight line as it has to avoid the islands that come in the way. Parallels and meridians form a network of lines that is called a grid. Latitudes and longitudes intersect each other at right angles and form the Earth grid. This grid is useful to locate any place on the globe or map. To locate a place, we should know the latitude and longitude. The place would be located at the point where these two lines cross each other. For example, where 28.38 degree north latitude and 77.92 degree east longitude intersect each other gives us the exact location of Delhi.